boxing fans here in Bournemouth. Yeah. Let me start that again. Pro boxing fans here in Bournemouth. George Groves, we've just seen a great fight uh, between someone you know, Chris Billen Smith, and Matthias Masanek. You've done a lot of media, so I'm going to make this very quick. First of all, uh, looking at scorecards, Chris was done, but he pulled it out. Uh, we could see that Masanek's rib was protruding. Uh, but how long can he go on with this style? Because he does take a lot of shots. Yeah, it was an exciting fight, but it's a couple of fights like this now. Yeah, yeah, nothing like I'm sure no one in, in the Chris Billingsworth camp is saying, like, fight this way, take these shots, just grind them down. You know, it's not the Homer Simpson sort of uh, style of fighting, you know. He's tired, Homer. Nudge him, <laughs> nudge him. Uh, so, no. But, you know, he, he was off the pace tonight, a little bit flat. But what's to be expected? He had the, the biggest night of his life last time out, winning a world title in his hometown, in a football stadium, against a former stable mate, as a massive underdog. So tonight, you know, he was in a really tough, you know, opposition who was... There was that feeling of this is going to be a bit of a gruelling fight. Um, I thought it would be a bit more... Uh, Chris would land a bit more and wouldn't take as much, you know, up until the point of the stoppage. But in the seventh round, you know, and a little bit before then, he did start to get behind the jab, you know, drive Masonic back correctly um, and broke his heart as well as breaking his rib. So, brilliant fight for him. You know, moving forward 2024, he can't carry on with that style, but, you know, he learned from these experiences. Um, and if he does go in with a React or Nest as his mandatory, or goes a different route, um, I'm sure he will see a different Chris Billen Smith or just one that, you know, does what he does best, better. Uh, just quick two ones. Um, December 23rd, we know the big card. Anthony Joshua versus Wallin and Parker versus Wilder. Talk to me about them. Is there any banana skins in them too? Do you feel like AJ and Wilder should pass their tests? Yeah, they should do. They should do. It's a shame they're not fighting, but maybe that's the direct semi-final for these two guys to get in the ring but they could be a couple of banana skins Wallen's not a bad not a bad fighter is he and uh, and Parker of course you know when he wants to or when he can at times has shined and um, you know sometimes Wilder can be a bit gun shy and you know he might get outboxed but you know Parker is a tough man in the distance with um, in the distance with Joshua I know uh, didn't uh, against Joyce but you know uh, it's a great fight it's a great great fight they're both great fights uh, but I, I think I think the favourites win, win, win those bouts and final one for you go you got a bit of criticism when you said listen that Tyson Fury is probably not going to come back and fight on February 17th obviously it looks like he is now but uh, something interesting that his dad said quite recently John Fury saying listen it looks like he is declining not in ability wise but a positive conditioning uh, with his power do you feel like that is the case or are we seeing the decline of, of Tyson Fury as we would with age could do could do I mean his last performance he obviously wasn't great and it's been a while since he's sort of had to really work hard so maybe but um, I'm, you know it's usually in the gym you can sort of sense it and feel it not in the gym with him so there's only the guys who are in the gym with him would know that um, and maybe his dad is maybe that's just a, a, a ploy that his dad's saying now ahead of this fight um, maybe this fight doesn't take place who knows you know it's scheduled I believe it will but you never know you never know you never know so um, but we're looking forward to it I think it's a great fight we're going to get finally get a number one heavyweight in division uh, so I hope they do fight and uh, you know right either man off at their peril I think Usyk is the favourite I think he's the better fighter the better boxer I think he beats Fury I think he beats the best Fury but you've still got to go up and perform George Rose, always a pleasure. I know you've done a lot of media. It's time to go home and chill out. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good Christmas and a new year. And uh, if you're not in Saudi, I'll see you after that. Yeah. See you after that. Come on. Come on. Cheers.